Hello everyone, this is Umar. Welcome to the channel. So today we are starting RSE 8 uh, mock exam series. But before we begin, I want to talk about a couple of things here. Uh, the first thing that I recommend is if you're planning for RSE exam, I recommend you to go for RSE 8 rather than RSE 9. So the reason is uh, simple because there is plenty of material available. There is no confusion around this exam and there is too many documentation videos available to prepare for RC8 exam rather than RC9. So there is still, uh, you know, if you, I, I recommend if you can wait for RC9 exam and go for RC8, uh, it will be much easier to uh, uh, pass the exam. The second thing is uh, you need to understand how Red Hat certification validity works. So if you are if you are preparing for RC exam. And you've already given RSCSA exam so uh, the validity of the exam actually uh, changes so in this case if you see I have given uh, RSCSA exam on October 2022 uh, the validity should be until October 2025 but as you can see the validity is August 2026 this reason is I have given recently I have given the exam uh, on October on August 24 uh, 2023 I've given this exam a Red Hat Certified Specialist in Container so the validity of that exam is 24th of August 2026 because of this the validity of my all previous valid exam also changed so if you are going for RSE 8 and then if you give any other any other Red Hat exam your validity of that of your uh, valid exam already changes and becomes current so this is another reason uh, anyway, it's just a recommendation if you want to follow. Uh, the second important thing is uh, you to become RSCE. If you're already watching this video, you know that RSCSA is a prerequisite uh, exam to pass before you appear for RSCE exam. So if you haven't already done that, if you uh, have not passed RSCSA exam, I have given here a few uh, documentation links. So always go, there is plenty of material on the internet available, but it's always good to go through the Red Hat documentation as well. So this is a Red Hat documentation page link. This is a Red Hat documentation for RHEL 8. So if you see, there are plenty of documentation out here. It's very overwhelming what to study for to become a system administration. You don't need to study all each and every document out here. I have what I have done is if you if you want to plan for to become RSCA CSA and you want to start preparation uh, for RSCSA exam as well so for that I have given you the important documentation links that can that will be enough for you to uh, study for RSCSA exam the first link is for the installation so as you can see here uh, installing so this documentation performing a standard uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 installation this one I've already provided the link then system sysadmin basics so uh, the second important document that you you may look at is this one configuring basic system settings I've already provided you the link here and then uh, there is using SE Linux so try to learn about SE Linux. The documentation link is already given here. Uh, and then uh, you may consider studying for Red Hat networking. So how uh, Red Hat Linux work networking works, this is the document that you can refer to. This one, I have provided you the link. And the last most important thing is about the storage. So these three documentation will be enough for you to prepare for RSCS exam so I've already provided you the link it looks very overwhelming but it's not if you go step by step one thing at a time it's not that difficult and once you once you have studied then I have created a mock exam series as well so if you go to my YouTube channel I have created a mock exam series for uh, RSCS exam so once you are prepared once you have done your training uh, you can go through this uh, this series and prepare for the uh, the actual exam all right so enough for rscsa let's get back to rce so for rce there are there are uh, other than rscsa being a prerequisite you need to you need to know a few other basic things like for example ansible so uh, in the rse exam is more toward automation 
So the automation tool that is used in RAC exam is Ansible, as you may already know. And the version that will be used is 2.9, Ansible 2.9. So you need to know the basics of uh, Ansible, how Ansible works, how to install the packages and how to, how to create playbooks and all those things. And you need to understand YAML, how to, how to, uh, how to create configuration file using YAML format because Ansible uses YAML uh, format to do the automation. So these are two things that is required for you to study for study and appear for RSCE exam. Other than that, there is one more document which I, I would recommend you to go through is uh, the system rules. So go through this documentation link as well if you are preparing for RSCE exam. All right. So that's enough for the prerequisites. Now the most important thing that people people don't do is create a proper lab that actually uh, that actually is very close to the actual exam environment. So it's very important to create a proper lab to practice for the for the exam. So the more closer your environment, your lab looks like it, you know, you will be more comfortable in appearing for the exam. So I recommend you to uh, create at least six servers. Uh, for your practice lab so you can you can create your own lab you can you can use your uh, use your own virtualization hypervisor whatever you're using most of the people are using uh, a virtual box which is fine you can create six machines in virtual box in your laptop on your desktop and then you no know, start practicing for that uh, in my case I'm basically I'm using I'm using Proxmox so I'm I'm not using uh, virtual box a lot I am using Proxmox uh, for all my virtualization need and for that I have already I created a video uh, for Proxmox as well so if you are interested you can look into uh, this link which I have already provided this is Proxmox tutorial it's the installation configuration and all those things I have it's a one hour video but very comprehensive video you can understand and learn about Proxmox if you are interested in Otherwise, uh, otherwise, VirtualBox is also sufficient if you want to prepare for the Red Hat RSE exam. Even VirtualBox is more than enough. But if you are interested, you can go through this uh, tutorial as well. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, preparing a proper lab is very important to prepare for the, for the exam. So, uh, what we will do, I have prepared six servers. So in the next video, I will show you my lab environment, the configuration of these six servers and how this lab was lab is created in my Proxmox. You can create the same lab in your in your uh, uh, virtual box or any other uh, hypervisor that you're using for your home lab. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day and see you in the next video. Thank you.